Spoilers seem to happen a lot now, like these games, they did it with like General Ross, with the Hulk, they did it with like Deadpool, they did it with like way back with Wonder Woman, they revealed who the villain was, though in those Funko Pops, I'm not gonna show them here. If you haven't seen them, I've seen them. It doesn't ruin the surprise for me, especially, okay, this is where we go to the spoilers, okay, we go into spoilers now. So obviously they're revealed. Joe Lack is playing uh, Wiccan. Tien is Wiccan. He's Billy Kaplan. They reveal the Funko Pop took his superhero outfit. I'm like, I can't wait to see it. it. I hope he has a transformation just like Wanda. I really want to see it. But the one that I did not see coming was Aubrey Plaza's character. Like, who the hell she is? I thought did everybody thought she was a new character. Real over the hell. But apparently, um, she's w a way bigger character than that. She's... And hold up, let me just show you a comic, cause let me show you this for a second, let me. Uh, I'm using trailer footage to like find her from this clip. Okay, hold up. Audrey Plaza is playing Death. She's playing Lady Death, the Death from the comics that Thanos was in love with, not Hela. She's not playing Hela. Hela is the goddess of death. Whereas Thor explained that the gods are not really gods. This is like super beings that human worship. They have no meaning. But this is that she's the real death. And I'm like, oh my god, how did I, how did I not see it? This is Thor we are with Plaza. This is who she's playing. I don't know why she's pretending to be a witch. It makes so much sense about why Agatha's terrified of like when they were like, oh, we're gonna die. And Agatha freaked the hell out like more than usual. Like she went banging on the doors. And I was like, huh. It's because she's really in love with that. That is in love with her. She's over it. And now they hate each other. And that is after her. It explains why she can't absorb her powers. She's a witch and she's dead, obviously. And we saw a glimpse of her real form in the last episode. She's the skeleton thing. See, that was fun. See, that I, I really like it. Listen, spoilers of, of character reveals do not, especially in TV shows, do not affect me at all. This actually made me more excited. I'm like, I can't wait to see how they're going to reveal that. Like, is she going to have a transformation? I cannot. For Wiccan, I was obvious. But for her, I'm actually, wow, what a, reveal, what a character to be revealed as. It's amazing. I, I, it makes so much sense now. Like, Audrey Paws wouldn't be dropping the, everything to play it. She was doing this while filming a movie. A big movie. She literally showed up on the movie set while wearing her Marvel costume. That's crazy. I cannot wait to see how they're gonna reveal it. Icon. I should have seen it coming though. It, the clues were there. The clues were really there from the trailers to the way they talk about the character. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I, I just love the show. I know, I know it's not the typical Marvel show and thank God for that. Thank God it's not the typical Marvel show. Thank you. Jack Schaefer, not God. Thank you, Jack Schaefer, for not making a typical boring ass Marvel show. And the fucking sea of mediocr mediocrity, Jack Schaefer made not one, but two amazing Marvel shows. And that's one period. Thank you for watching. See you all later. Audrey Plaza is playing Death. She's playing Lady Death, the Death from the comics that Thanos was in love with, not Hela. She's not playing Hell on Hell as the goddess of death, whereas Thor explained that the gods are not really gods. This is like super beings that human worship. They have no meaning, but this is that she's the real dead. And I'm like, oh my god, how did I not, how did I not see it? This is the holy Ari Plaza. This is who she's playing. I don't know why she's pretending to be a witch. It makes so much sense about why Agatha's terrified of like when they were like, oh, we're gonna die, and Agatha freaked the hell out like more than usual. Like she went banging on the doors, and I was like, huh. Is because she's really in love with that. That is in love with her. She's in love with it. And now they hate each other. And that is after her. It explains why she can't absorb her powers. She's a witch and she's dead, obviously. And we saw a glimpse of her new form in the last episode. She's a skeleton thing. See, that was fun. See, that I, I really like it. Listen, the spoilers of, of character reveals do not, especially in TV shows, do not affect me at all. This actually made me more excited. I'm like, I can't wait to see how they're gonna reveal that. Like, is she gonna have a transformation? Oh, I cannot. I, for Wiccan, I was obvious. But for her, I'm actually, wow, well, oh, what, what a character to be revealed as. It's amazing. I, 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 it makes so much sense now. Like, all you would be dropping the, everything to play it. She was doing this while filming a movie, a big movie. She literally showed up on the movie set while wearing her Marvel costume. 
this is crazy i cannot wait to see how they're gonna reveal it icon i should have seen it coming though it, the clues were there the clues were really there from the trailers to the way they talk about the character i can't wait i'm so excited <laughs> I just love the show. I know, I know it's not the typical Marvel show, and thank God for that. Thank God it's not the typical Marvel show. Thank you, Jack Schaefer. Not God. Thank you, Jack Schaefer, for not making a typical boring ass Marvel show. And the fucking sea of mediocre mediocrity, Jack Schaefer made not one but two amazing Marvel shows. And that one period. Thank you for watching. See you all later.